I'm Leah. I'm Shauna. Hi. Hello. These are our five top tips for climbing. The first top tip, climbing indoors, especially in the winter, is put your boots in your jacket before you arrive at the wall. Mm -hmm. If you haven't done this before, you'll thank us the first time that you do it. Because climbing shoes are always so cold, and like when you get to a wall and you're freezing cold and you have to take your shoes and your socks, you have to put your boots on and then it's all cold and gross. Yeah, we always warm our boots up in our jacket and then it just makes it a little bit more bearable. The second one, I guess, would be um, brushing your holds, cleaning them before yeah. your attempt. There's more and more people joining climbing now and there's a lot of chalk on the holds at indoor walls. Um, and it's one of the biggest things, I guess, that we see when people go climbing. They're trying their projects, they're trying the hardest, and their holds are filthy. So, brush your holds. Also, you can brush the holds for other people. You don't just have to brush it for yourself. If we can create a community that brushes for everyone, I think that'd be a much better situation than what we're in right now. Make sure you've got a brush, use it, even if you're only brushing your own holds. But yeah, just brush holds more. And tick marks? Brush them off. Brush them off. Indoors and outdoors. Especially outdoors. Yeah. We don't like chalky holds. Nope. <laughs> in case you haven't noticed. Brush, 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 brush. <laughs> Make sure your landing zone is clear. I know that seems really obvious, but crowd control is kind of an important thing. So make sure if you're going to do a jump that you're not going to land on anyone. True? She said. <laughs> I do it for her all the time, so I guess I'm used to it. <laughs> I think as well, yeah, it's really important to not just make sure your landing zone is clear, but like speak to other people who are around and say like, look, I'm going this way. Especially if you're not climbing on a boulder that's obvious, if you're making stuff up, like we do a lot, we make up jumps. We need to make sure people are aware of what we're doing and not just gonna come in and walk underneath us because yeah, no one wants one of us landing on their head. And we don't wanna get injured. Yeah, mainly that. I didn't wanna say that though. Try things that you're bad at, like stop trying all the things you know you're good at. I know it's cool and it feels good to look good at the wall, but if you don't work on your weaknesses, you're never going to be a good climber. You need to be a well, well, if you want to be a well-rounded climber. If you're scared of slabs and you don't like them, get on slabs. If you don't like steep stuff, get on it, do it. Yeah. I'm going to remind her of that next time she's a grump at me. <laughs> I don't want to do that one. Well, you do the same thing. Well, you can remind me too. Okay. Deal. <laughs> Top tip number five. <laughs> Top tip number five is please warm up. Uh, it's not sometimes cool, you might not feel great warming up at the wall, um, but your body is a tool and it's a tool for climbing up a wall. The more warmed up you're going to be, the better a session you're going to have. If you've got a particularly dynamic climb that you want to try, make sure your legs are warmed up and ready to jump and be powerful. If you've got a crimpy slab climb that you want to climb, make sure your fingers are warmed up to hold small holds. Nobody wants a finger injury. I warm up. <laughs> Warming up will reduce your risk of injury. It'll get you going, it'll get you moving better, and you'll have a much better session after warming up. So that's why it is our final top tip.